can't believe it. We're moving tomorrow. me now just I've been sat here finishing off the last vlog editing it and I've just had a shower I've washed my hair I've done all my skincare I've done all my body care I feel like a dream I put some fresh clothes on I just it's hitting me I can't believe we're moving out of our little flat I just can't believe it I feel do you know what I actually feel quite emotional mainly just because I can't believe we're moving into our own house like oh, it just feels so surreal. It literally feels like I'm living someone else's life right now. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Oh, I feel so happy and so excited. <laughs> oh God. This is literally the moment I've been waiting for for so long. I feel, uh, I can't even explain it. I just feel so excited. I'm not even sad. Like I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm happy. I am just so excited for this next chapter. It's going to be so amazing. And uh, as much as I've loved living in this apartment, and I know so many of you have said you're going to miss the apartment and you're going to miss the styling, and I promise you it's going to be better. It's going to be bigger and better in time. <laughs> but as much as I've loved living here, the kind of the last year and a half living here has been a real process so much has happened in my personal life living here and i feel like it hasn't become a place of like negativity because it's always been such a safe space for me but and it's always felt like a home but there's just so many memories like when i look back through my photos i see so many things that aren't very nice memories and it's always me sat here so i am I am literally so excited to have a new house, a new start, completely fresh with no negativity in it at all. No negativity in my life and just feel so kind of like free. Oh, I literally can't even tell you how excited I am. But anyway, I wasn't intending on starting this vlog by crying, but that's where we are. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough of that. I've got myself a glass of rosé from one of my Born Rosé cans. I actually have a bottle of um, Frizzante from Dalesford that Nadia gave me. And I'm going to save it. I was going to open it and I thought, I'm going to save it to open it in the new house tomorrow. I dug out a can from the alcohol bags and I am just sat reflecting and relaxing and... It's now the evening, so Jack will be home in the next hour or so, and we're gonna just pack up the TVs and all of that stuff, and that's the last thing to do, and then we're ready. Um, we're gonna get fish and chips for dinner, probably just sit and reflect on our time in the flat, and talk loads about the house, because that's all we talk about now. And yeah, I just feel, my eyes are so red. <laughs> I just feel so happy, I cannot tell you. So, so happy. So, here's to you at the next chapter. Good morning, everyone. It is moving day, and I haven't vlogged yet because it's been a bit chaotic. We had to get Jack's hair cut, we got some coffees, and we have just started. I've loaded up my car, so that's all good with all the essential pieces. And we have just taken the dining table down. I say we, it was Jack and Ben. Um, and I've taken down some vacuum bags. But this is the process so far. I've got some bags here waiting to go down. We literally have barely done anything so far. It's like 9am. Um, I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs, but all is good. So let's commence filling our ginormous van.
day guys i'm en route to the new house we are in convoy i'm following ben in the truck jack's in the van in front of me and we are off with the first load to the new house i've had to change into shorts because i'm absolutely boiling um honestly they have done so well we've got the, the majority of the furniture is in the van my car is like full to the brim um it probably sounds really rattly because everything's rattling around but yeah we've done so well it's only a quarter past 12 and we've pretty much done it all we've just got a few little bits left um a couple of little bits of furniture the bedside tables but it's not too bad so i'm very impressed with them they've literally done so well all the boxes are in the van the sofa bed the sofa the dining table that was the hardest because it's so heavy actually the sofa bed was um i just ran over a bag um the sofa bed was really difficult because it was just such an awkward size to get around all the corners but they did it and i'm so impressed with them they've literally done so well so we are on the way to the house we're going to unload all of this ben's got a haircut it seems to be haircut day today um, Jack got his haircut this morning and we're going to unload it all and then come back in just the van and pick up the rest of the bits and it's not that much so we should do that pretty quickly so I'm thinking by four o'clock we should be sat in our garden having a drink and I'm very very pleased about it I'm gonna put the drinks in the fridge straight away honestly we've done so well and it's such a nice day I'm so glad we've moved today because it's blue skies it's so sunny it's amazing it's so nice and warm when we moved in it was pouring down with rain and we literally had the worst weather so well we had literally an eighth of the amount of stuff so yeah i am so proud of them they've literally done so well and do you know what i feel like i've done such a good workout because i've been running up and down the stairs i've been lifting the boxes my arms have been getting the workout that they needed so yeah on route to the house now luckily the house is literally like 20 minutes away so it's so near it's not like we have to do one big trip um which is actually why we hired a van anyway because it's not even that far and to do a couple of trips is absolutely fine so yeah by this afternoon we will be sat in our garden in our new house which is just crazy um so yeah i'll update you on the next phase how it's all going i'm just so excited i feel like i'm just letting the boys kind of take the reins with this because they're so good i mean jack is literally so particular about stacking things it looks so professional vlogged this vlog is going to be very confusing but it is monday today and we went out this morning to b &Q. got loads of bits we did some gardening this morning i'm very aware i haven't shown you anything but i promise i will i probably will do that tomorrow but i wanted to show you this because i haven't vlogged anything and we keep changing things and i need to show you so our kitchen we are going to be doing a big refurb on the kitchen we've got Big plans of what we want to do. We're going to be knocking down. Jason, no. Oh, really? We're going to be knocking down some internal walls, making it all open plan, putting some patio doors. Literally, where I'm standing, there's going to be patio doors, um, like bifold glass doors. However, 
that's not going to be for a while we've actually got a well underneath the house um covering a good portion of the kitchen so we need to get planning and you know it just takes so much longer than you think so we have come up with a couple of ideas to just renovate the kitchen a tiny bit diy make it feel fresh make it feel our style the cabinetry is so nice the cabinetry <laughs> it's really really well made and i love it but the tiles the worktops it's just not really our style so we've come up with an idea of how to diy it and i thought i would show you before we get cracking so this house is pretty much from i think it's the 90s isn't it and it is a little bit old and it just needs a bit of updating but the the countertops are just this like speckled kind of reminds me of school this um countertop and then the cupboards are just like a really light wash oak with this um with these brushed antique brass handles which i love and when we redo the kitchen and demolish it all i will be keeping these I love the sink. This butler sink is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. Same with the antique brass taps, although they need a little bit of love because there's a leak here. But also, the tiles just are not my favourite. I'm not in love with these. All the gloss and the cream is just not really my vibes. But we have bought some vinyl. I actually saw this on TikTok. Sorry, Jack, just put the kettle on. We bought some rolls of this vinyl, um, like, adhesive, sticky back plastic. I'm gonna vlog in a sec because the, the kettle's on and it's gonna be loud. So yes, as I was saying, we have done it here and honestly, I am so impressed with how this is looking. And the edges of this are like beveled with this wood um, edging detail. And Jack has managed to wrap this over and follow the details of this and it just looks amazing. So I think for the time being, however long it's gonna take us to get the planning, blah, 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 blah. What we're going to do is wrap this countertop, paint the tiles with um, a tile paint. We were thinking of actually just taking the tiles off and redoing them, but it's quite a big project to do that. And it kind of just doesn't make sense if we're going to rip them down anyway. So I just think paint over it. The little fruits can stay for now. I'll probably just paint over them. <laughs> um, and then I may potentially paint the cupboards. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it is once we've done the tiles and obviously painted the room because this room is magnolia yellow and this light is far too low so we've got a little few changes to do in here we're going to paint it white and um strip this beam because it's also been painted black and i'm not overly keen on that so yeah that is the plan but yeah i think it's gonna be really nice and look at my view out of my kitchen window we've got some raised beds down here we're going to take this one out because that one's a little bit old and a bit past its time and this one we're going to refurbish and build it up a little bit there's also a mammoth washing line here which is that green pole here it's concreted into the ground and it's absolutely huge so we're going to be taking that out as well but our garden is massive this is one part of the garden and it goes all the way around the house so i will show you i'll show you more but this is what we're currently doing okay here is our living room. It's a really amazing size room. It's really long. It's actually got quite high ceilings and I absolutely love this room. It was previously decorated in this rich orangey yellow colour and this colour actually runs throughout the house. So it's going to be a big job to paint over this but this is going to be painted just a pure brilliant white. We're just going to whitewash the whole house to start with and um, go from there. If I want to update some certain rooms with painting and everything like that, we will do that along the line. But to start with, I just wanna whitewash everything so it feels nice and fresh and new. Currently, the entrance into the living room from the dining room is this open walkway. It's got a little step down, but this is all built out of the original foundation. So this part of the house here, this lounge was actually an extension. It used to be a scullery and a garage and the previous owners had um, extended this out and created a lounge, but they kept this original feature. So the house does seem a little bit higgledy-piggledy sometimes. Um, and I love the idea of this original feature, but it's just not really my style. So I think what we are going to try and do is either conceal this with some actual built-in walls and just have an archway going through here. So this opening will still be here, but it will be an arch like this. So you can just seamlessly come through and it just looks gorgeous. 
but this is again something that we will be doing when we renovate the part of the house that I'm standing in right now. The kitchen dining room is going to be completely renovated and that is something we're going to do at that point. So for now, this is just going to stay. I, I don't, I'm not really that fussed about it to be honest. It's not the end of the world. So yeah, that is a little look at our new living room, which is going to be painted today. So my brother is going to be here this morning. He's going to get cracking on the painting and I'm so excited. I'm really hoping that this room could get some real progress by the end of the day. I'd love Jack to get home from work and see some real change in here. So my job this morning is to get all of this furniture out. I need to move quite a lot of the pieces out of this room and then some of them I'm just going to bring into the middle and put some dust sheets over them just so that my brother's got a bit more space. Okay, Louis has arrived. This is my brother everyone. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> we have done some dust sheets over all the stuff and he's just taping up all the edges ready to fill all of these um, little holes which the hooks for the curtains and everything were in. It's quite a few. Um, but yeah, just prepping basically. The first stage. My mum is on her way so she should be here soon. It's literally 9.30. My worker arrived in great time. <laughs> okay guys, I'm now in my um, jobs tracksuit and my mum is also here. <laughs> she's actually been here for ages but we've been doing all sorts of things sorting things out moving things around I've been showing her around and Louis has done such a good job with starting off the painting he's just gone out to get a new roller because I got one that's a bit rubbish um so yeah he's done all the edging all the taping up and filling and everything like that and he's um just about to start the first wall which is amazing and I'm so excited. Also today, I'm gonna to order the curtain poles. I am opting for antique brass hardware throughout the whole house. Obviously, it's gonna take me a while to change a lot of things. I did take down all the curtain poles everywhere already, but we want to change all of the sockets and everything like that. But Danelm have some really good pieces, so I thought I would mention this curtain pole is 60 pounds, but you can choose every length that you may need. So I need to measure that up today and get this ordered. And this is kind of how um, the material is gonna look, a really nice polished antique brass. I just think it's gorgeous. And we've opted for a double rail, similar to what we had in our flat, so that we could have a nice white linen curtain, but then also a slightly thicker one, so that in the winter we can shut the curtains and they'll actually be closed and it will be like a blackout or we can have the light neutral curtains shut if we wanted to. So we've got the two options, which I think is really nice in a living room. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about these. Another day, another tracksuit. I feel like that's all I'm wearing at the minute, but this house is quite cold and the central heating doesn't work. So Jack needs to fix that um, tonight. I think he's gonna fix it. So look at the state of my hair. <laughs> um, this is definitely not gonna be a very glamorous looking vlog. But, oh my goodness, look at the light in the living room. I've just come in here and the sun is literally pouring through the windows. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to measure up all of the windows and the doors so that I can jot that down in my notes page with all my dimensions. And I like to keep everything in one place so that I can go back to it if I ever need it. And it's so much handier than just noting it down on a bit of paper and losing it or writing it somewhere or not even remembering that you've written it anywhere because you can always go back to it. So I'm going to do that now and then I can order the curtain poles and I can also order the blinds because I want to get some linen blinds to go on these windows here next to the fireplace. Oh my god how pretty is that? Just to add a little bit more softness to the room and we can close them if we really want to but it's looking out onto our garden so you know it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do now. Okay guys, I'm just giving you an update. The living room looks like a brand new room. I cannot believe it. It is so bright and airy in here, it's amazing. There's only one tiny bit left to do, which I think Louis is going to do tonight, which is this bit 
um, but all the furniture was here so he couldn't get to it but oh my god I am so happy it looks incredible honestly amazing oh my god look at this disgusting pillow that Louis brought <laughs> <laughs> Louis is staying tonight on his fishing <laughs> camp bed <laughs> the things you do <laughs> I haven't vlogged for the entire day pretty much. I am just outside in the garden because I have been working on this space this afternoon and I just didn't even think to pick up my camera. I'm so confused with what I'm vlogging this week. I'm getting all mixed up because there's just so much going on but I thought I would give you a little tour of how our garden is looking. Okay, so this is our little setup outside the living room. Just for now, this is only temporary. We are actually going to be creating a garden space behind this um, hedge here in this big grass area. We're going to be doing a really big patio and like a kitchen, um, an outdoor kitchen section and loads of stuff like that over there. So that'll be like an entertaining space. But this is just a really nice little area to come and sit in the mornings or the evenings. Sorry if you can't hear me, it's so windy. I really hope you can. Um, but I've just done a little setup here with the IKEA furniture. So I have got the corner sofa here. This is the three seater. There is another module that can go on here, but I've just kept it as a three for now. Um, you might notice that the colour of these are different. I've basically had such a nightmare with IKEA. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I always am completely honest. They have been so difficult because they haven't sent part of the order. So I phoned them up and asked them if they were able to send out the rest of the order that I'd paid for, which didn't arrive. And obviously they were absolutely fine. They were amazing in that respect, but I've then received the order today and I haven't received the whole order so it's so annoying i'm gonna have to ring them again but i'm missing quite a few cushion covers which is so disappointing but not the end of the world bigger things to worry about so this is the ikea i'll link all of this down below this is what i was showing you in my vlog the other day these little tables i bought from etsy and then these pots were actually here already the previous owner left them so thank you because i can definitely be using these this hydrangea i actually haven't potted yet i've got a bag of compost that i need to actually pot this but i'm so tired i just i think i'm gonna do it tomorrow so i've just left it in here and watered it watering can is from b&q i love this watering can and then over here, we have got the little armchairs. So these are actually the sections from the corner sofa. I love how versatile this is because you can just mix and match. You can add this on. You can make this really big if you wanted. You could shorten it down. I really love the fact that it's so versatile. But I always knew that I wanted a little um, kind of two seating area so that I could bring it around and create a bit of like a circle round in the other garden. That's what this is for. Um, these are my crisps and my wine that I've just been eating. Um, but I've just decorated this area. Oh my god, a bumblebee has just landed on my flowers. How incredible. Um, yes, I've just potted this hydrangea but it's so windy that it's really wonky and also i don't know anything about gardening so i'm really just kind of making this up as i go along and watching tiktok videos but it's so windy that it's leaning to the side it has got this wire around it which um is holding it up which was on um which was on it at the garden center this morning when i picked this up but um yeah i don't know what to do i think i need to get a support and have pull this back because it's going to just keep falling which is not good but oh my god i absolutely love hydrangeas they are my absolute favorite they are just so impactful and so beautiful i think they're gorgeous and i kept the label on here so i could show you what they were called these are actually from b&q garden center um they are hydrangea black steel white absolutely love these all soya types sun part shade 
absolutely love them they are amazing so put them in this pot and then I need, I've got another little pot down here I've actually got tons so I can utilize all of those and put them around everywhere bring them inside I'm very excited about that but I've just added this here for effect and the other thing I did was I picked loads of little flowers just from around the flower beds around the gardens and little bits and bobs and just made this other little terracotta pot here and the way that I've put these in is I've used a jar one of my glass jars with some rocks in to keep it heavy and some water I need to actually fill up that up with some more water um in here so it just creates a really lovely little vase and I love that I think it's so cute so yeah this is how the garden is looking. This table is going to be our outdoor seating table. We're going to have um, six of these chairs and we're also going to have a white parasol in the middle. And this is going to be situated around here. So let me walk you around here and give you a little idea of what we're going to do in this part of the garden. I absolutely love this part of the garden. I think it is just so beautiful. It's stunning. The views that we have over this field are just incredible. And you can just about see the sheep in the field over there. If I zoom in, in the field next to this one, there are sheep and we can hear them constantly all day. You can hear them in the morning. You can hear them in the night. You can hear them all day long. They are just absolutely adorable. And I just love that this is where we live i think it's incredible so this part of the garden here is going to be our kind of main sitting area our entertaining area in the summer we're going to be out here all day all night it's going to be gorgeous so we are going to create a laurel hedge along here please don't mind the skip don't mind the skip here, getting rid of all the rubbish. Um, there is going to be a laurel hedge along here to create some privacy and just create this area as a little bit more of a like kind of boxed off garden. And then we're going to add in a arched doorway that's going to be over here coming off this fence. This is the oil tank, if you're wondering. Our house is run on oil. So that's going to be boxed in with another panel on the other side. And then the laurels will come along here because we're losing quite a lot of turf on the other side of the garden. Um, so we're going to shorten this down and probably get rid of this, to be honest. As much as I love it, we'll probably rip this out and start again. Um, just because it's so much easier to do that because this is so overgrown and there are a lot of weeds down here. Um, and then we're going to have a Cotswold stone flooring. We're going to have a semicircle from here, kind of all the way around to the other side. And this is going to be our area for barbecue, kitchen garden. We're going to have the sun loungers are going to be situated at the end here. So you get the full sun all day long. The sun actually rises up here and then it follows this path all the way across here and then it sets over there. So Honestly, the light that we get at this house is incredible. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, that is the plans for this garden. So I am currently just waiting for Jack to get home from work. He is still at work, I've seen on Fine Friends. So uh, I think it's gonna be a late one tonight. My brother is still here painting. He stayed last night and um, we got up nice and early and went to B&Q and then I had loads to do today. So I was like driving all around everywhere. Um, but he's gonna stay again tonight and just get up early and crack on he's actually going on holiday next week which is why he's working extra hard this week but honestly he is so good he is so particular and just so kind of thorough and quick like he's so speedy i can't believe all my friends have been messaging me saying i can't believe how quickly you're getting stuff done it's actually wild and it really is but it's such a beautiful evening. But as soon as the wind stops, it's so warm. So I am very, very happy right now. Also, how beautiful are these blue iris? I absolutely love them. I think they are beautiful. Good morning, everyone. It is actually Saturday and I do not remember the last day that I vlogged. Um, I honestly haven't picked up my camera the last few days. Oh, there's a baby bunny running across the drive. <laughs> oh my god so cute i don't know why i haven't picked up my camera the last few days but it's just been a bit hectic loads has been going on i've been updating my home account so much so if you're not following me 
I really urge you to if you want to see daily updates and progress and before and after pictures and stuff because all my stories I'm saving to highlights specific to the rooms, I'm posting on my feed, there's a lot going on over there. Um, but I've had such a lovely week in the house. The first week here, we've got so much done. So I thought I would finish off this vlog by giving you a bit of a tour of what's been going on, what progress has been made so far and showing you some little bits. And then I will pick up the camera and start vlogging again for the next weekly vlog where my brother is actually on holiday. So he's not gonna be here painting. So I'm holding off for a week on that. But I am going to be doing a lot of things myself this week, so I can obviously bring you along for that. So starting out in the garden, I obviously showed you this the other day. I need to pot my hydrangea properly in there still. But this is all pretty much done for the time being until we get our second bit of garden done that I was telling you all about. My hydrangeas that I potted are doing very well. I added in a bit of a support and they look absolutely beautiful. I need to water these this morning. So yes, very pleased. I've got my lemon tree outside as well, which is lovely. He's doing so well. I called him Larry, Larry the lemon tree. And this shoot has absolutely sprouted so quickly. So very pleased about that. So yes, outside is looking really good. Coming into the living room, it's a little bit messy because we're just like doing loads of stuff this morning, but this is obviously all painted white. We've got a bit of a temporary situation going on with the sofa bed and our old sofa. I just took one of the segments out so it's a little bit smaller. Um, so this is really nice. We've got a nice livable space for the time being. Um, the carpets are getting changed. These are going to be a herringbone floor which we've actually ordered some samples of and we're going to order those when my brother is back but I just absolutely love this room. Yesterday I painted these wall lights with a spray paint and I absolutely love how they've come up. I think they look beautiful. So we've got one here and also one here, just to add in a little touch of gold, make it a little bit softer than the black. I'm also gonna be changing this light up here. None of this furniture is actually gonna be in here eventually. It's all gonna change, but for the time being, it's perfect. And we've actually got a space, <laughs> checks trousers. We've got a space that is quite perfect and really nice to be in, which is just so nice. And then coming into the office, this is now completely painted white. I've brought my desk in here and just a random little setup for the time being. None of this is actually gonna be here. My desk and my chair will be, and I think I'm gonna have those in the center of the room, but this cabinet is actually gonna live where the mirror just was and my sofa bed is gonna be here. Um, so this can also be another guest room if we ever needed it. So in here, I all I need to do is order some curtain poles and get some curtains up and then we're gonna get the floor fitted in the next few weeks. We also have a little bit of an issue with our walls because this property is old. So this all needs to be kind of repointed and um, replastered and everything. So we just painted up to this point because these are the areas either side of the fireplace behind my mirror there that need some help. So that is all good. We can get going with that. This room is gonna stay white so we can just whitewash over that and it's all good. I also need to decide what I want to do with this fireplace. I think I want to just do a bit of a DIY and upcycle it. I might potentially, I was talking to Jack this morning, do some marble tiling over the front of it. Um, I'm not sure. I was thinking about purchasing um, an actual marble mantle, but this fireplace is so big, I don't think that's going to work. If I was going to do that, I think I'd have to take all the brick off. And it's just quite a lot of work for kind of something that isn't really that important. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this and do a little bit of a DIY on this as well. And then the next room that has been completely painted is the hallway, lovely and white and bright. I absolutely love how bright this hallway feels. Jack's just trying to currently fix the shower, so sorry about the noise. Um, we're just deciding what we wanna do with the staircase and we haven't painted this top bit because the ceilings are so high. The ladder that we had didn't actually quite reach, so we're gonna bring a taller ladder from um, Jack's family house and we can get going on this but I think what I want to do is paint from where the dado rail um, is I want to paint the upstairs of the hallway and the landing upstairs a different color so we're not going to do white we're going to do a really nice rich kind of mushroomy color so we're just figuring out what we want to do with the stairs I was kind of testing out whether we want it white whether we want some richer colors in here I love the wood and I think we might keep the wood of the um, balustrades in here just to add a little bit of a more richer tone 
and then potentially paint all of the rest of the banisters but I'm just trying to figure out what colours, where to put the colours, it's all a bit of a minefield and it's kind of difficult when you can't really imagine it um, but yeah I love this and we're going to do panelling um, kind of like a half panel up the stairs going up here to reach the top where it kind of joins with that um, dado rail there and then potentially we might do some really big panels at the top but we shall see because that is very high up so I don't know how that's gonna work um, but I don't know if you can see really through the protective layer but the stairs I love we've got this dark wood on the top which we are gonna keep and then this is just painted like a magnolia so this will be painted white to match the um, walls and I love it. I think we're gonna have a stair runner on here, which I've got a sample I can show you up here. Sorry about the noise of the shower, but this is the sample of the stair runner I think we're gonna have. It's a really nice herringbone pattern in a loop fabric, which I really like. It's really durable, really good for stairs. Um, so I think we're gonna have this just running down the center of the stairs and then potentially get this bound at the sides with a nice dark, chocolate brown border as well so it kind of matches in with this dark um balustrade as well you've done it oh well done and then this is the carpet that i think we're going to have up here we're going to have carpet in the whole upstairs so all the way through all the rooms so i'm just kind of imagining having the runner up to here and then this nice fluffy carpet at the top and i think these work really really nicely together if i show you in the natural light i really love this combination i think it's gorgeous especially when we have a bound edge as well i think that'll be beautiful so that is the current progress we've done so much in a week i can't believe it um i also did a little diy on our main bathroom we are ripping this out and completely changing it we're going to get both of the bathrooms redone but for the time being, I just wanted to make it feel like a nice bright space where I can have a nice bath and if guests come, they can use this as well. And basically just a nice bathroom to film in as well. So let me show you what I've done. I'll put a picture on screen of what this looked like before. It's still a bit of a work in progress because I'm actually not finished, but these panels were bright, bright blue, like electric blue all the way around the edge. So I painted those white. I actually had to do quite a few coats because um, it was very bright blue. I might even do another one because it does look a little bit patchy. And then I wasn't sure what to do with the tiles, okay? So bear with me. As you can see, I have painted it. I painted it with a white tile paint. I did this entire wall here, but I just don't love it. I think it just doesn't look great. The tile paint really wasn't good. Like it's kind of peeling off already. It just doesn't look good. And although we are gonna be ripping out this whole bathroom, for the time being, I just wanted something that feels nice and fresh. And I'm just not loving this. So I don't know if you can see, but there used to be starfish and like bright blue tiles, which just isn't my style. Um, so what I decided to do is take the vinyl wrap that we had left over. Oh, and also on here, you can see the outline of the tiles. This was also bright blue tiles on this little storage unit. So I took a little bit left of the vinyl wrap. And I've just tested it out to see what it looked like. And I actually love it. I mean, it's not great. Like, this is a very temporary fix. I wouldn't recommend getting a vinyl wrap for something more permanent. Because as you can see, it doesn't stick very well. It's not amazing. It does kind of crease and bubble quite easily. Um, but for a temporary fix, or if you're living in rented and you want to update something and it's not your style, it's so brilliant. It peels off straight away and there's no damage underneath. Also, it's really inexpensive. So... I'm going to order a couple more rolls or I might just pop to B&Q next week and I've decided that I am going to wrap all of the tiles around this edge in the marble because I just think it's easier, it's so non-fuss, it just looks great. So I'm going to do all the tiles at the back of here and all the tiles along here. So I'll show you how I do this in the next vlog next week if you're interested in seeing. But I just think it updates the space really nicely without spending a lot of money. I used leftover white paint from downstairs and I think these rolls are about £7 a roll and they're quite big so you can really cover a lot of space with a few rolls and it's just really inexpensive so I'm very happy about this but as I said this room will be completely changing. We've got big plans for this room and it's going to look absolutely amazing but the lighting in here is just beautiful so I really wanted to use this room. And yeah, that is kind of it in terms of updates to show you. 
Um, I did move all of the boxes that were downstairs. I've moved them upstairs into the room. So I've got like all my dressing room bits and bobs in here and all our clothes and bedding are all in the guest room. <laughs> it's still a bit chaotic, but it's fine for the time being. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like it's quite long and I feel like I've shown you quite a few random things and I don't really know if this vlog has any rhyme or reason but hopefully it does and hopefully you have enjoyed spending the first few days and the first kind of look at the house with me I hope you've enjoyed it and I'm just so happy to be here I absolutely love it and I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for your lovely lovely messages oh this room's getting painted as well next week <laughs> um yeah just thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye